Hey, it's Ken Gagney at the YouTube channel GameBits continuing my Let's Play of Life is Strange Chapter 4 Dark Room, played here on the PlayStation 4. This is the second video in this chapter and the 22nd video in my entire Let's Play. Maxine has fallen asleep in Alternative Chloe's room. Alternative because Maxine changed the timeline. Now her father, Chloe's father, William, is alive, but now Chloe has been in a car accident and is paralyzed. That is some serious crap to have to live with. For both of them. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No. I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I don't think he's a replicant. I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You yeah, that's thanks to me. The company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates. <laughs> Running through the forests again. Arr. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, Why is it upstairs? Drag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. Oh. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. But first, I need to stop and look at everything. You're not in so much pain that your morphine can't wait, right? Snow globes are taking over. Okay, so I suspect all these descriptions will be the same as when I looked at this same stuff last night. And so I probably don't need to look at all of them again. Oh, I can open drawers now. Chloe was a oh wow! Student. She could have gone to May twenty second, twenty ten. I think that's like three or four years ago in this game's time. Oh wait, I think there was more. I think I needed to scroll left and right. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. In this reality, Maxine is the only one who can say that. She's the only one with a clue what's going on. Wow, sir. what a bastard! I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Oh, jeez. Even if it wasn't another reality. Wow. Is that even legal? Bull crap. Window. Gotta open the window so birds can fly out. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? Apparently not in this reality. I haven't seen any dead birds yet, just I'm dead so whales. Even if he crashed on me. You're not even at all chastising me for not going to get the morphine. There's the old Chloe. Okay, so this is all the same stuff. I think we can go now. Bathroom? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Well, I have to interact with her parents, like have pancakes and stuff. Because I think that's going to be weird. Because the last time I was here, I was saving your life without you even knowing it. They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HDTV. And they use her shitty tube television. You just insulted everybody who still has a tube television. Wait. Game messages? Wow. Since when are they such good friends, and why? I need to water a plant, apparently. Wow. So these are all messages that a different Maxine left. That's that's so strange. To 
to think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Can I go outside? Oh, I'm outside. The door was open. Did not need to open that door. It was already open. That is some serious... Anyway, can I sit on the swings like I used to? Oh, man. The swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. I remember when my swing set went down. That was hard. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But... You passed on before I changed this reality. If I could go back in time, I would save you, Bongo. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too. But what is it that's happening? Not that I expect you to know, but... The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Hmm. His life was worth saving for that reason alone. And here's a change I made that you didn't see in my Let's Play. Yep. It's the same graffiti from before. Confirming that I did change time. In case you were wondering. In case William's life wasn't evidence enough. Hey, William. Hey, paper. What's in the paper? Can I just sneak around you and take a peek? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Foreclosure within 15 days? Ooh, another newspaper. Let's read that. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? The Prescott Foundation has Jeez. vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Where did they go? Interesting. All right, what's up with you? Hey, William. Am I bothering Not you? like Mr. Oh, yes. Price? Through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. It's because you've been dead. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh-oh. Options. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Why would she be mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? Oh. She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Bitter? Insurance helps, but... Oh. Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. Ouch. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Ha! Get it? No? I'm disappointed in myself for not having thought of that first. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. It's like Very being five years in the cool, past. As they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? That was ominous. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually That's a dollar for the swear jar. Joyce. Or the college fund. My family. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. What does that mean? She's not going to get kidnapped or run away. <sighs> Sad. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Wow. Sounds like you know them well. 
more than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Pan Estates? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Yes. The better job I do at making you not pay your bills, the better Chloe will be off. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. That's because nobody swears anymore. Choices of food coupon boss. Like my mom. Don't buy a brand, buy whatever's on sale. Anything else to look at? Isn't there, there used to be a camera around here? Notes on the bulletin board? Messages on the phone? Eggs by the door? Because that happens in the other reality. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Was that a dress flying away? That's weird. Furniture, clothing, kitchenware, dot dot dot. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Happy credit card? HCC? What? A st twelve fifty a week, five thousand dollars a month, sixty thousand dollars a year. <sighs> All right, off into the other realm. That would have been a weird place to stop a video, so I'm gonna keep playing. Let's go into the bedroom, like like we do. See if there's any bluebirds floating around here. Oh, hi, Joyce. I'm just going to walk into your room and look at all your stuff and hope you don't mind. Look at them. I'm looking. They have no idea what's in their future. Do you? Lamp. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Well, not Rachel. Maybe it was you, Maxine. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Is that it? Okay, William used to rock a mullet. Maybe he's not as cool as I thought. Hope I made the right choice in saving him. Oh, no. I didn't realize how oh, bad no. Chloe's injury really was. Anemia, loss of breath. Oh. Not cool. Door, uh, windows closed, seemingly. Just gonna go through your ashtray and your drawer, and then I'm gonna talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Joyce is already a super mom. I don't think I've actually tried rewinding time in this reality yet. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Yeah, well. Good morning, Max. Uh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After... Everything that's happened. For better and for worse. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. No, you're no lucky. Choice. Psh, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. Hmm. That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... she do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. 
This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. Yeah, you got your hands full. I don't you, Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside. Yeah, what is up with that? This so game is taking a long time to explain that. What is she possibly going to say about David Madison? What, you mean the bus driver? Plus, you guys have to work too. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And what is it that Bill does? Even, I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. And what is Pan Estates? Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Not the Two Whales Diner! From his son, Nathan. Yeah, he tried to shoot your daughter. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. That was you random. Were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good to talk AKA, to you. AKA, I have nothing left to talk to you about. I've explored all my dialogue options. And none of them revealed more information that I can use to get more information out of you. Okay, I know I need to go to the bathroom eventually, but... Oh. That makes perfect sense. And it's not what I was expecting. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. At least we never had to hide from step douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. What? I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Why can't you go back in time and stop her from getting in the cart too? I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Focus. <sighs> she would have sat there indefinitely had I not pushed a button. I never heard much about William's brother. Uncle Aaron? A new parking lot? What do you do? Money is nobody's favorite thing? What does that even mean? Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Open it! They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. That's not true for most people, I know. Weird. Alright, time to find out what's in the bathroom. Is there a light switch? Yes. 
How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Is that even possible? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more mess. So far, this alternate reality is giving me, like, no options, no... Here it is. Puzzles. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. It's very linear. Kind of like the King's Quest. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. I guess? Okay, time to turn off the light and deliver the morphine. Whoa, pardon me. Can I go back in there? Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Okay, let's get this delivered. Is there anything new going on down here just since I was last year? Oh gosh, a third job. Morphine. Anyway, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks. Nosy, but not precise. Oh, Don't know what that oh. means. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Oh, zing! Plus Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Wait, is this a photo op or an album review? I wasn't quite clear. Uh, do I find the albums where? Oh, there it is. Look. No, not that. No. I'm glad I took this photo. No. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Look, album. So Chloe has her own photo album. Why is that a surprise? Don't most people have photo albums? Or is that like too old school? Am I just so old that I have photo albums? Photo album. Press X to look at photos and pay respects. Is that okay? Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. Really? I remember that day. Are you using tilt shift photography? pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished him. Wait, I'm now in control here. Can I, I, I can't get up. Nothing else to do. False agency. Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. I'm a pirate. R. Please let there be a photo of her getting into the car before the accident so I can go into that photo and change history. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. It was. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. Oh, dear. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable. As are we all. While my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? 
What are you saying? That wasn't I morphine. That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh, God. You understand? Yes, I do. I didn't even get a choice in that. Is crank up the IV to 11. No. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do I... No, oh my god. How can you ask this of me? Oh my god. What do I do? I think I accept and then I go back in time. But if I'm wrong... Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my... What, what kind of a game does this to me? Oh my god, what do I do? I'm gonna accept. I don't know that that's what I would do in real life. But, oh my gosh. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. And then I need to go back in time and undo all this. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around sooner than you think. I don't not I do not know how to explain this to Joyce and William. You need to make this right, Max. This cannot be a Kobayashi Maru. Why can't we have everything? There. Oh, I thought I did. There we go. Oh, man. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. Not again. This is a keeper. How do I make this choice? Hello? Hey, honey. What? Tell him to take the bus and not give his daughter a car for her 16th birthday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the flare. And if you burn it, you can never come back here. There'll be no more do overs. You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting test. Dad! Don't blow it. Tonight, your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving. That makes all of us. How does she live with herself? Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe. I'm so sorry. Oh shit. I tried to make things different for you. I I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different. Like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. 
Oh man, you don't have a great family. Not after what I just did. Whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. Oh man. I'll always have your back. Always. William had to die so that Chloe could live. I have to tell myself that. Did anything change? For the better? Are we just back to the status quo? What was the point of all this? We'll find out soon. <laughs>